we uh, need to look at in an organization which is more interested in going towards risk management all these things are looked at from an introductory perspective so just if we look at the introduction to it any future decision first thing is it is very difficult to predict right risk is all about the future and the uncertainty to determine the future we all accept the fact now we are all not gods to typically uh, come out with uh, exact identification of what is going to happen in future so the first and foremost thing we have to appreciate is the future is difficult to predict it could be the prediction of prices it could be prediction of events but anything is difficult to predict but one thing that has been observed over the past is we can take actions in such a way that we can manage the uncertainties we can try mitigating the uncertainties we are not eliminating there is a difference between these two words eliminate versus mitigate mitigate is where the risk management is trying to work out not eliminate uncertainty with respect to the future is inevitable concept we have to appreciate it but we are using the world of risk management to try to reduce that uncertainty first of all let's try to look at it in a simple way i might very well get a job without studying anything i can i can uh, you, you can you can bring about examples of a lot of entrepreneurs who are college dropouts but who have become really successful in life who have become billionaires and millionaires so taking them on one side can i make a statement that there is no need to study to become a millionaire or a billionaire there is some level of fact in that if that's the case why are we going through the formal education program why are we uh, reading through various subjects why are we uh, getting through uh, different uh, concepts and technologies and what not what is the need if we can make if we can become a millionaire or a billionaire without any amount of study because we had literally lot of examples in the real world on one side probably a study publishes that majority of or a good proportion of the most successful people need not be highly educated people there might be some fact they are exceptions now why are we studying the reason being if i am not studying probably my future is uncertain i may become a millionaire i may go into rags anything is possible but by going through a formal education i am trying to do a mitigation of the uncertainty of my future i i hope uh, i am getting the point across to you now that is what is risk management all about future the uncertainties we are trying to address now why are we studying this because historically we have some kind of evidences which say that people who have been uh, undergoing the formal education program they are able to make their living quite comfortably now which means i am understanding the past trying to do some kind of analysis based on the past available data and information and based on that come out with the conclusion which can help me to reduce my uncertainty for the future that is what is all about risk management so giving a formalization to it i am identifying i am measuring and evaluating the consequences at every stage if i am not studying what is going to happen there are possibilities 1 2 3 i am a billion i may become a billionaire i may just meet my ends going on i may even not be able to make my ends going now i am evaluating the various consequences saying what is the chance that i can become this what is the chance that i can become this what is the chance that i can go into rags 
we are looking at various consequences evaluating the consequences and based on that coming out with an action plan which simply says step 1 2 3 4 10 these are what i am going to do in order to reduce the uncertainty of the future so every step that we are designing is going to be a challenge but the more effectively we are able to implement that step we have done a proper risk management so just to formalize the definition risk management is always a continual process it's not a one day exercise one week exercise it's a continuous process where the corporate really focuses on reducing the uncertainties what are the uncertainties for the corporate the uncertainty could be in terms of earnings the uncertainty could be in terms of share price the uncertainty could be uh, in terms of uh, employees turnover there are lots and lots of uncertainties uncertainties in terms of the profit put for the project portfolio all these things go as a part of uncertainties now how well i implement my risk management activity and depends on to what extent i am able to reduce these uncertainties so never look at risk management as a defensive approach it is the active selection of the type and the level of each of the risk we are not saying that risk management means don't take risk these two are two different words statements all together risk management never talks about not to take risk assess the risk take it strategically actively select the type and the level of risk based on the risk appetite based on your understanding of how much how much should be the target profitability without too much of fluctuations in it so risk management and risk taking we can't look at them in an uh, as two different stuff they are the two sides of the same coin one cannot exist without the other when i am taking a risk it's not that i'll invest all my money in a lottery that is what is the real risk taking but if i am doing a proper plan and taking a risk we call it as risk management we are not talking of just a simple risk taking right so what we really have to understand is we have to get out of that notion that risk management is not about risk taking it's about risk controlling no that's not the case once we change our mindset and try to understand risk management is all about taking appropriate risk taking calculated risk so that we can maximize the profit with minimization of the risk instead of just looking at maximization of the profit we are adding one more term to it maximum risk with minimum maximum returns with minimum amount of risk so risk to return ratio is the lowest possible and this risk management today is becoming a creative force in the entire financial market just because of this world of risk management innovative products are coming into the market we have seen credit derivatives over the last uh, decade where the sole aim of the credit derivatives is to redistribute the credit exposure from those who don't want to take the risk to those who want to take the exposure to those credits so there is a transfer of risk from one party to the other from a risk averse party to a risk loving party there is a kind of a spread of the risk transfer of the risk that is happening so banks are coming into picture hedge funds are coming into picture means there are so many opportunities that are available today so many new instruments getting created under this notion of risk management transferring the risk to the parties who are willing to take it who are able to take it so that the risk is overall spread in that system across rather than uh, one party accumulating it or cascading it risk is uh, diversified in this process rather than getting accumulated and act as a cascading effect so but what we really see is risk management even though lot of hype is created around it lot of buzz is created around it it has been inconsistent in terms of preventing market disruptions though there are uh, 
lots and lots of risk management plans that have been implemented uh, before 2007 we were not able to avoid the 2007 global disaster or any of the business accounting scandals that are been uh, unearthed in the last uh, couple of decades any kind of risk management was not able to unearth all of them though some of them were successfully uh, handled much before successfully identified and exploded much before some of them they could not uh, get identified till the last so that is where some improvements should still come out in the world of risk management and that uh, orientation should get developed within the organization and probably what we see is especially the herd behavior of the risk managers that is one more major drawback if at all we see that the a crisis has come out we see that a lot of risk managers they go towards flight to safety mode all the risky investments that will get sold 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 reducing the prices values even increasing the losses to the organization that's one thing where a risk manager should really be uh, focusing on and uh, whatever the sophisticated financial engineering instruments that have come out credit uh, default swaps collateralized debt obligations asset backed securities mortgage backed securities all these sophisticated financially engineered instrument that have come out in the last couple of decades they cover up the real economic condition of poorly performing firms because they really feel they have transferred their risk they they are not too much at loss or too much at risk so this is where some improvisations are very much expected towards risk management but of course risk management is becoming a powerful and a creative